Welcome back to Phasmophobia. Like, comment, and subscribe. Anything you do for the channel helps me put more back into the channel for you. That being said, today we're going to go ahead and hit our new weekly task that I kind of forgot about for about the past, you know, hour. And I need to go to bed in about an hour. So this is going to go quick, hopefully. Uh, weekly tasks overall is a uh, weekly challenge, I guess. But weekly tasks overall is correctly find the ghost type 15 times for 500 bucks collect bonuses or yeah bonuses my brain shot start a new job on this is go great collect bones 15 times for 500 dollars take three star footprint photos 30 times for 500 dollars and of course complete the challenge mode in bleasdale farmhouse three times for five thousand dollars daily task which someone will probably easily achieve is discover the ghost type play with another investigator capture a three-star ghost photo and get a ouija board response um i think i'll probably try to go for the three-star ghost photo during the uh, bleasdale farmhouse challenge maybe the ouija board if we even get that sometimes that's hit and miss if we get any current uh cursed objects or if it's a set cursed object sometimes it's random even then i feel like when it is random i still get the same one over and over anyway like i said kind of uh limited on time here so speed run technophilia we've thrown out all of those prehistoric items this contract is all about technology Correctly find the ghost type in Bleasdale Farmhouse. Ah, oh, sounds like no smudge sticks. Sounds like to just keep finding ways to make sure we don't have smudge sticks. Let's hop on in here. And I guess just, yep, this is recording. Good. <laughs> I think I might have been able to fix the recording issue I've been having in OBS. Not only was there an update out, but, uh, ooh, tier 3 headgear. Uh, no crucifix, no smudge stick, no lighter, no candles, so hopefully we don't have to do an on Rio test or any kind of weird demon test or spirit test. I think that's all of them. Or a Maroi test, because Maroi's get stunned twice as long from smudge sticks. Fun. Um, I don't really care too much about getting perfect investigation bonus on these. It's never worth it. So what do we want to do? We want to try to find a ghost as soon as possible. Oh, no writing book either. So that's just a sh evidence that we will just never get. That is terrible. Grab that, grab that, and I guess we'll grab that. Probably going to start off with temperature. Entry room ghost? Mm, probably not. I am going to need this headlamp as soon as possible. Nope, not entry room. We got tarot cards. Start us off. Breaker right here. Nope, breaker's not right there. Ghost is almost definitely going to be upstairs. But if it be line straight upstairs, and I'll never get it. That was a bit of a drop in the kitchen. Keep that in mind. Big drop in the bathroom. Ghost orbs? Yep, ghost orbs. Okay, ghost orbs in the bathroom. Let's go exit out this way. Not in the MF5. Don't get to worry about it. Breakers right over here. Perfect. And a door and lockers, which we are going to check right now. Not the best, but we do have this to use as a storage space. That thing is really liking touching those doors. So far, it seems like they just removed at least one evidence item. Smudge sticks, uh, lighters, candles. So, I don't think that they've played with anything with the ghost at all. So this is basically just going to be a game set on easy, I feel like. And then they've given us tier 3 of everything else. That's going to make life really nice. For the most part. It's kind of going to suck a little bit. Make sure we mark down our evidence real quick. Let's get our other evidence items in here as soon as possible. I don't think it matters which way I go to get in there. Honestly, I do want to drop my sanity a little bit. So I can do this a little bit more quickly. Go ahead and get another light on in here. I don't recall if I turned that light on. 
has been touching the crap out of that door. Not seeing any UV on it right now, though. Go ahead, trash rip box. Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Check this again. To still in here. Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Not getting anything there. I needed to touch that door again. Or light switch, wander out here and touch a window. Guess I could do that. Let's leave that there for now. I don't have anything else in my inventory, so let's go grab more stuff. I was waiting to hear it touch that door on my way out. <laughs> I don't always expect ghosts to be dicks, but when I do... So yeah, this is basically... I mean... This is basically easy mode with one less evidence item. That's not four, that's what? That's three. Because we'll grab a photo cam, another UV wouldn't hurt, and we'll put the video cam on there, and another dots wouldn't hurt. Alright, uh, photo cam. We don't need another UV. Wouldn't hurt to go with this, though. Still have ghost orbs in there, sanity is still pretty good, and the ghost is really not that active. So, yeah. This is definitely something. Right now, I have literally no idea what this could be based on what it's done for us. I don't think that it's, uh, anything we could guess at right this second. Still got ghost orbs in here. Grab another dots over there. Keep this with us. As it touched the door, at least it doesn't have UV as evidence if it has. Alright, carpet has geometry. There we go. Check our temperature again. Freezing. There's our next evidence. Revenant Yure. Yure is a possibility. So what is that? No EMF 5 to worry about. Can't get ghost writing. So we're going... Dots! That works perfectly. It's a Yure. Let's get out of here. Right? Yeah. Because then we can't have dots. All right, I was going to say, we'll pretty much have to thoroughly investigate the other options in order to uh, eliminate everything down to ghostwriting as the remaining evidence. That's basically the only real challenge with this. I can't see any reason why anybody would be in here long enough unless they're pulling tarot cards, but in here long enough to uh, get a hunt, honestly. Got your marked mark down. Guess I could have tried to go for a ghost photo. Ah, uh, how many of those? Three, one three-star ghost photo. I can get that from Dots if I have Dots again. I should have thought to take that photo then. Alright, there's that one easy enough. Let's get back in here. Basically, the ghosts that are actually going to be difficult with this will be ghosts that have ghost writing as an evidence. How many times can we say ghost in a sentence? Phasmophobia edition. Um, yeah, we'll go with these. This is going to be nicer now this is clear weather. Probably also going to be warmer. What's the baseline temperature outside? 16.6. Check one more time. 16.4. Check in here. 17. Let's go ahead and put our nogs on. Check in here. 17. Almost 18. God also got really lucky with the uh, positioning there. Ooh, that's a good few degrees cooler. I think these do technically count as two separate rooms. I really do wish tier 3 night vision saw ghost orbs. I feel like that would make a lot of sense if they did. I don't know quite where the rooms separate here. Check this. Breaker box in this. Okay, did I turn that on or off? That's on now. Good. 
good. I think the ghost has to interact with that grandfather clock on the other side of that wall. And we did get a room that was a fair bit cooler right off the bat. Has the kitchen. 14 in here. 17. Ghost orbs are an easy dead giveaway. Also, if it just straight up touches a door, that'll be pretty handy. Which also just might be straight up a red herring. Although, it is still going down. So maybe not that much of... Okay, it's in here. And it's roaming. But only kind of roaming. Good enough for me. All right, this is definitely the ghost room. I don't remember where all the light switches are in this place. There's definitely no ghost orbs. I still haven't fixed that crap. All right, that's still going down. This would give me UV if there were any. So that's that, that's that. Let's go grab more evidence items. Decently active ghost. I wonder if maybe it's a yokai because I'm talking with an open mic. Or I guess decently active ghosts might also be twins. These are things we must find out. One way or another, so far at least there's no ghost orbs. We'll be taking in another video camera as well as dot and spirit box. Basically, entryway ghost is going to be fairly decent. It did take the ghost about a second to warm up. Have one camera from that direction. This is actually a good direction to set this up in. This one can go up here on the table as long as it doesn't get knocked over. Dots are good to go here. Grab me this to check around for any kind of ultraviolet activity. So far, nothing. New, new flickering lights, whatever will I do? Okay. Are you here? Are you close? No way. Right away, spirit box. That works. Can you touch a door? Doesn't hurt to ask, right? I don't really know where the cursed position spawn on this map. I think technically one of them can be in here. Am I going to get tarot cards again? Tarot cards for the second time. There's no one. was a bone. That one should really glow when you shine the UV light on it. I want my sanity, Danny. Ah, damn it. Of course, at least if it did that, it would, uh... Brain wants to work. Like open doors or something on its way to you to get UV off of that. Ways where if you can maintain a calm mind when something's happening, you can uh, force in evidence. Speaking of, ooh, that's to interaction y. Twins is on the menu. It looked like that was going to start at a level 5 as well, but if I should get in there, maybe could still see it. No ghost orbs. This may not be the ghost room if it is twins. That's the difficult thing. But twins don't have ghost orbs anyway. Alright, let's get in there. I want to get in there with more stuff than just this. Oh, that's very twinsy. We're going to have them marked for right now. Um, Don't care about any of that. Ooh, hey, 900th game even. Three-star ghost photo, so I guess I'll take it in a photo cam, and another dots. And then we'll check the temperature again once we get in here. It's fairly active in this room, so I'm quite certain even if it is twins, they are close enough together. Go ahead, turn off the Basinator 9000. Chuck that guy in there, sit here and wait for a ghost photo, I guess. Let's check temperature. Or, not bad. Basically, I just need to be careful about a hunt and that's it. 
I don't even need the lights off right now. I never marked down. I did mark down spirit box. It's the only thing I've got so far. That doesn't touch the door timely enough for me to get UV off of it, though. Or light. That's the only thing I'm waiting for, so I can cross that off if it touches a door. I don't even have Obake as a possibility, so I could mark off Ultraviolet. Or a window. <laughs> Give me something. There's not a possibility either. Guess I should go fill this room with salt. Maybe it's wandering around a lot. I do really hate these uh, motion sensors. So wow, it is doing absolutely nothing. Okay, it's not a possibility. What's a ghost that is active than inactive? Mimic, but there's no ghost orbs. Plus, the mimic was mimicking twins, and that was the twins' ghost room. That's a potential. What are they gonna do? Salt. No salt, cause no high tech or no low tech. Damn, that's dumb. Ah, uh, really a lot I can do about that. There's level four though. Stop in there. This is twin activity. The next one will add to it. Still the ghost room? Still getting colder. Three degrees is pretty damn cold too. Give me a sign. Show yourself. Are you here? That's not what I meant, you dick. That's level four. Damn. Give me a sign. Show yourself. Are you here? Couple of level fours and a level two from that event. Of course, I was standing right on top of the ghost, so it just uh, chewed up my sanity and finished the event. Speaking of, my sanity is pretty low. It should be able to hunt soon, and I am kind of screwed if it does so. I think I got a hiding spot in there. I'll rob we get away with. Getting much colder. It's still working on it. Are you here? Show yourself. Do something. Give me a sign. Not a thing. Or it was not an option, so I'm safe there. Are you here? Show yourself. Do something. Give me a sign. Are you here? Show yourself. Do something. Give me a sign. That's a door. Is that the door? Level five. No ultraviolet. Ah, oh, I did. Interaction two. All right, we're gonna hide here real quick.
Well, that was convenient timing. So this gives me freezing... Almost. It's close enough, honestly, with, with the negative ultraviolet. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and call that twins. Spirit should have been quicker than that, and Wraith should have been much quicker than that. Also, the way they're behaving, they were fairly active right, right off the bat. Basically, right when they were allowed to be. I was also fairly certain I saw EMF... Okay, that's a twin traction curve right there. <laughs> but I was fairly certain I saw EMF 5 earlier on, so... There's those. If I had stuck around long enough, I would have got freezing as well. They're definitely taking your sweet time with it. <laughs> if you're curious why that ghost started hunting in that room with the tarot cards rather than in its a ghost room, then that is because it did a ghost event in that room with me in it fairly quickly before, and the ghost decided to linger in there for a second before moseying back to his ghost room. Alright. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Top back in. Reports of the possible ghost sighting. How crazy would that be if option number 25 was just no ghost? Like you have to go in here and discover there is no ghost in the entire building. That would be awesome. Alright, right now it seems like it's forced tarot cards. And that there is a minor difference in the immediate entry room. Okay, I think it's in the entry room, but we're going to scan around real quick anyway. Also looking for a bone. And I'm starting to think it might be forced for the uh, breaker box. Yeah, I'm thinking that too. I'd be surprised if it was something otherwise. And still no hiding. Wonderful. 16, 17, solid 18. So there's quite a variance here. I think I just heard a book in the study. 12. Okay, yeah, it's literally this room. Let's double check in here. Because I probably read, yeah, I reached through there just to do something. Hasn't done anything else yet, though. Go ahead, deactivate that. That's a ghost orb. Alrighty. Go ahead, turn that on. Wow, this was a lucky three rooms. None of them were upstairs. Oh, that might have been EMF 5 too that I just missed. Was it? No, that was level 4. Ghost orb's still there. Oh, yeah, he's floating around right over there next to Grandfather Clock. Who could have guessed that? Alright, we'll go with that spirit box and EMF this time through. Get these guys set up, get the other cameras set up. Try to get our three star ghost photo because this is gonna be the last one. Looks like it killed. Very nearly could have last game. Oh, that's real quick. Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? So far, nothing. Other attempts. Nine's pretty good. Go get more stuff. Check out what that EMF might have been on that grandfather clock. Very, very small. It's doing stuff with me in there, so it's definitely no shade. Um, I guess we'll grab the other dots. The other EMF would not really help me here. Uh, we'll grab a parabolic, actually, and we'll see what that can do for us. This, again, is another decently active ghost. I wonder if they have ghost interactions turned up a little bit higher. Can't really imagine why, aside from just to uh, be a courtesy for getting rid of an entire evidence category. Let's go with a break there, so that seems good so far. Right now, we have ghost orbs that eliminates a lot of crappy ghosts. Banshee is an option, so I guess that's all I have to listen for. Gonna, um, don't have to worry about myling whispers. Wait for a door touch so I can check for UV. And we'll check temperatures here in a moment.
Yeah, there's not a lot to do right now. Temperature actually cold enough. We'll check up now. Just because I'm bored. Check this again real quick. If not, I'll mark it off. Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? I'm gonna go ahead and say no to that one. It doesn't really mark off a whole lot though. But it does mark off on Rio, which I appreciate because we cannot do an on Rio test anyway. But it kinda doesn't matter because I don't think that on Rio would have had yeah, they wouldn't have ghost writing anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um what did I want to grab? Photo cam, in case we get a ghost event, I can get my ghost photo. Pop back in here, pop the lights back on. Actually, I'll grab that uh, video cam and make sure the ghost orbs are still in here. Yes, they are. I'll go ahead and pop the light back on. Show yourself. Give me a sign. Are you here? Dude is really not interested in giving me anything. feel like he is working towards giving me, uh, that's a fair few interactions. And they're all up three. Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Give me a sign. Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? I forgot to give me a sign on the other part of that. Still gotta scroll down for that. Let's check this. Last three, we're at two, three. Still at three. I wonder if I should check ghost writing. Oh, wait. <laughs> Finally. Two touches and still no ultraviolet. Three touches. And still no ultraviolet, so definitely not a Obake. 1.9, definitely going down still. None of those were level 5s. Dots! That's what it is. Well, that's what one of them is. Um, they is a good possibility. And I don't like it. That are level three, that is our three star. Good. I'm gonna start turning some stuff off that I don't necessarily need. I know I have dots now. Because I need to test for Raiju. Yurei will be a hard one unless he just straight up touches this door, but uh, I think we've already had a Yurei in these three games. And I think if he was gonna touch a door, he would have done so already. Check our temperature again. Went back up. Where is it going down? Or is that just part of the range? Still have the ghost orbs in here. Might have changed rooms for a split second, but it's still in here. I'm not sure video cameras count as placed object. Okay, this is part of the range. I'm not sure video cameras count as placed object, so I'm not going to worry about them too much for a Raiju test. They is an Oaken early hunt. I'm not sure about the other two, though. Yure. There's, there's nothing you could do about a Yure. So at this point, I just need to drain my sanity. Um, I went in the ghost room a lot and definitely near enough to the ghost if a Thay decides to hunt. <laughs> should be able to walk it. 
So we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's check this one more time. But yeah, it's, I don't think it's going to be freezing. It means no they, right? Yeah, freezing is your way. See if I plan this just right, I could take this, this. This is what's going to take a minute. Show yourself, give me a sign. Kind of weird because it's inactive, then it was active, now it's back to being inactive. There is no correlation for anything that a Raiju or a Thay should have been doing. Ooh, that one I'm not sure about. It seemed like it was still going just as fast. I think if the video cameras are placed and uh, they count. from his footsteps upstairs though because it doesn't uh, go between floors.
Well, I've seen that that hunt. We'll have a better idea at the start of this next one. I'm pretty sure this is right, you. Alex Corrigan, Alex Corrigan, Alex Corrigan. Pretty sure to stand. Yep, that's a Raiju. Because I was in that room both times well before the hunt, so if that was a Thay, it should have slowed it down considerably. Also, you know, I could kind of basically change the ghost speed by flicking on and off technology. But yep, uh, is Raiju, and I got my photo, which is going to be perfect. And then we're going to have the chance for Ouija board. So I think this is forced tarot cards and forced breaker spawn in the furnace room. Ooh, yeah, look at that money. And I don't believe I leveled up. Let's go ahead and hop in here and check in the shop. Uh, nope, the next one is 82. Three items away. Yippee. Well, thanks you guys for coming along for the ride. Um, this one's a pretty fun one. I mean, obviously it never had anything to do with the challenge for the most part. It's just basically playing the game on easy mode. Um, but f yeah, you don't get salt, so you can't do any wraith tests. You don't get, uh, uh, candles or lighters, so you can't do on Rio tests. And ghost writing is a required, uh, evidence for, well, not required evidence, but it is an evidence for both of those ghosts, as well as Obake, Mimic even, which could be really interesting. Um... It was also required for twins, so I guess we did have one ghost that had that. Um, I think it was required for Yuri. Wasn't Yuri the first ghost we had? I don't recall. I think we got all three evidences we need for our first ghost. I don't know. You guys are probably paying more attention than I am, honestly. <laughs> but anyway. Um, then what was that last ghost, of course? That was the... Uh, Raiju, which also had ghost riding for the evidence. But of course, we were able to do our Raiju test by turning equipment on and off. Not quite during the hunt, but just before the hunt to give us a very good test. As well as the twins, we much, much slower than a spirit. But the only ghost that is slower than a spirit is basically a Hondu in a really warm room. And it's pretty obvious when you have one of those. Or a Diogen with line of sight of the character in decent proximity. So... Neat little tricks you gotta do, a little bit of backbone information you gotta have in the game, and if you feel like you are not knowledgeable enough in that kind of stuff, hop on an online game. I've met plenty of decent people. There's some rotten eggs in a bunch, but they're not spoiling the rest of us, don't be assured. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you could like, comment, or subscribe, I'd appreciate it, because anything you can do for the channel helps me put more back into the channel for you. That means the more you interact, the better things get. <laughs> I am starting a new job, so I am... Hopefully there won't be too much more of a change to channel, because of God, we're basically posting two videos a day every single week to one video a day every single week to now maybe having three videos out every single week. And I have two videos left in the chamber for the Mazda, and there's maybe one more in the works in the future, because... If I turn that key over and the car just starts, there's not going to be much more I'm going to do about it. Just because I have a new job doesn't mean I'm about to dump a bunch of money into a uh, project car. Which, I, I think plenty of people have said that before me and then failed miserably. So, we'll see where things go. But, anyway, I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.